In our typed variant of curly, what is the type of this expression? Lambda x plus x1. It looks like it should take a number and return a number. But if you said trick question, you're right. In our grammar for typed curly, this is not a valid expression because there is no type annotation on the x. And yet at the same time we feel like it should be num arrow num, and curly's a host language plate. Uh, it lets us write something like that, and we do that all the time. So here's a lambda that takes an x, does x plus 1. I can call x f with a number like 10. I cannot call it with a symbol like quote a, not even if I delay the evaluation. So here I would call f on a if that lambda were ever called, but it isn't. Still the type checker rejects it. And that's because the x here without a type annotation in plate does not mean you can pass any x in. What it means is there's some type and we haven't written it down, and plate's type checker figures out that in fact it is type num arrow num, that you should have written down a number there, but you just didn't bother writing it down. This process of figuring out what the programmer should have written down when they leave out a type is called type inference. To keep the uh, grammar of typed curly simple, we're not going to let you just write x without a type, but instead write x colon always, but we'll allow a question mark to mean that the programmer didn't feel like writing a type there. That means our grammar for types changes to num bool arrow or a question mark. And again, question mark means that the type inference part of our new curly implementation should figure out what type without question marks goes in place of any question mark.